Hey everybody, I'm here today to talk to you about a ring camera not connecting to Wi-Fi. I'll be going over how to fix it easily with this simplistic tutorial. I'll be going over four specific things that you can do to hopefully get your ring camera to connect to Wi-Fi. Actually, maybe a fifth thing. Now that I'm thinking about it, I already did my notes for the video, but there's one additional thing. So stay tuned until the end because this fifth thing is really going to be a game changer. And I promise I'm not just saying that. I legitimately just thought of the fifth thing right now. It's probably the easiest thing to do, but you should try these other things first. Leave the easiest one for the end because it's just so easy to do okay so let's get right into the video and you want to solve it with the first four the fifth thing is almost a walk around and it's gonna change the way you use the camera so try and leave it for last so let's get right into the video number one is unplug your modem and router for one minute and then plug them back in now your ring camera I'm assuming you have a wireless one because you're dealing with it connecting to Wi-Fi or not connecting to Wi-Fi um, with that being said maybe you're experiencing some Wi-Fi issues right unplug your router and modem for one minute and then plug them back in sometimes they just need to be reset this is especially true if your router if you're if your if your router and modem are already causing problems if you're having wi-fi trouble on your other devices definitely re restart them see if that makes a difference okay number two give it some time you know when i first set up my ring cameras i have a whole bunch of cameras some of them are ring cameras some of them are other cameras some are wireless some are wired i have a pretty crazy security system that i've developed around my house on the outside and on the inside but that aside whenever I've set up cameras that are wireless whether it's ring cameras or other wireless cameras sometimes they just don't connect the first time it's weird you know and I'm not experiencing any Wi-Fi difficulty anywhere else but then I try a few minutes later and it works so I don't know how effective this is but it worked for me if you're experiencing some difficulty with your ring camera connecting to Wi-Fi honestly give it five minutes try again it's worth it to give it those few minutes sometimes your signal just needs to make its way around for whatever reason it's having trouble going through an obstruction let's say or making it over there so you've got to give it some time sometimes it's just like a, a blip in the system if you can imagine it like that okay number three the third thing that you can do is on your app and I'm not going to show you my app because for security reasons I just don't want to show you where all of my ring cameras are let alone any other brands that you might see on my apps on my phone with regards to the cameras that I have so I'm not going to show you but I will tell you the process and it's really easy to do within your ring app at least at the time of me filming this, this is how it works within your ring app you're going to choose the specific camera that you're dealing with okay so let's say it's your front porch camera which is this one right here I actually took it out for this video I'm going to go put it back in right after I make this series of videos. So let's say it's your front porch camera. Yes, I told you one location, no big deal. Got many more, anyways. Your front porch camera, you're gonna click that camera, you're gonna click on the settings icon. It's like a little cog. I believe it's in the top right hand corner if I remember correctly, okay? That's what I wrote down over here. Then you're gonna go to device health, okay? From device health, if your ring camera was connected to Wi-Fi before, you can then see what the signal strength was before, okay? I don't remember what the, the, the term is in terms of what it's called. I want to say it's like maybe RSI or RSIS, something like that. But it tells you the last signal strength that it had detected. Okay, so take a look at that. Was it weak the last time that it looked that it found a, a Wi-Fi signal? That's a hint as to what might be going on. Um, if not, you can actually from that part, you can uh, reconnect to Wi-Fi or disconnect it and connect it again. So you can choose another network and I believe you can choose the same network. So you can disconnect it and connect it again. Um, if, if your signal strength was fine the last time you checked, the last time that it did a health check, then you're probably better off just reconnecting to Wi-Fi. You just got to be close to the camera. It's really easy to do. It literally takes, if it works, it takes like a minute. It's so quick. Depends on the signal strength and stuff, but most of the time when I've done this in the past, it's taken like a minute, maybe two minutes. So that's number three. Go and look at the last signal strength and then either disconnect to Wi-Fi and connect again or just reconnect to the same network again, okay? Number four is to reset the camera. So maybe it's just an issue with the software and the camera. Maybe it needs to update and it couldn't grab the last latest update. Reset the camera. From what I remember, it's been a long time since I've done this and the instructions might change over time depending on how they update. They update the app and so forth and the hardware, the firmware, the software, whatever. But at the, from what I remember, 
the setup button on the top, you just got, at least with the Ring Spotlight camera, there's many different cameras, but for the Ring Spotlight camera battery, which I also have solar panels attached to, by the way, totally awesome, never have to charge the batteries for these things, and they're wireless, like no wires other than the solar panel, and the solar panel uh, um, cord is long, so you can hide it wherever. Side note, totally worth it in my opinion, inexpensive, and it saves me a lot of time charging batteries. Anyways, um, you just press and hold this down for a while. I don't know if it was 10, 15, 20 seconds, 30 seconds, but you hold it down for a while. This is gonna start flashing all different ba -ba -ba -ba, different rainbow colors, and then you're gonna go through the setup process again. And then you set it up again, and hopefully that works. Maybe it was just an, an error that it could not surpass, okay? Um, if you have a different camera, or if you're unsure about my instructions for resetting it, just go look up how to factory reset your ring blah 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 camera, whatever it is. It might be a slightly different instruction, but probably going to be very similar, okay? Uh, the fifth bonus thing is maybe your camera is actually too far from your Wi-Fi that it's not getting a good enough signal strength. Sometimes maybe your Wi-Fi when you first set it up was able to connect to the camera, right? And it was fine. Then you start adding in more devices, your Wi-Fi becomes weaker and weaker and weaker, and it can no longer reach the camera. Maybe that's why it can't connect again. Or maybe you couldn't connect to begin with, and your Wi-Fi was just too weak to connect to that location to begin with. So what I do recommend is, you know, go close to your modem or router when you're trying to connect it. Take your camera physically close to your modem or router, um, when you're trying to connect it um, and that should hopefully let you know if it's a distance issue or if it's some other issue okay you can also get the rain chime pro to extend your network um, or you can get like wi-fi repeaters and stuff like that to you know to, like wi-fi extenders to extend your network as well totally up to you but there are many options at that point if distance from the router to your camera and obstructions between that distance um, within that distance are your issue that's probably the easiest thing to solve there are many options for you out there. That said, if you like this video, please be sure to give it a thumbs up. Let me know what you think down below as a comment. And of course, be sure to subscribe for more great videos just like this one. And that's all I have for you today. Thanks for watching.